from Cascada Café Retiro in Popayan, Colombia. Please tap the like button. I would appreciate your help to disseminate this important information. Please subscribe and tap the bell to receive the latest videos. Thank you. This document, Scenarios for the Future of Technology and International Development, was published 10 years ago in 2010. For the moment, it is available online and you can download it. This document focuses on the global and economic alignment, aka New World Order, One World Government. The first scenario on page 18, lockstep, a world of tighter top-down government control and more authoritarian leadership with limited innovation and growing citizen pushback. Remember, this document is written 10 years ago, in 2010. The pandemic that the world had been anticipating for years finally hit. Unlike 2009's H1N1, this new influenza strain was extremely virulent and deadly. Even the most pandemic-prepared nations were quickly overwhelmed. The pandemic also had a deadly effect on economies. International mobility of both people and goods screeched to a halt, debilitating industries like tourism and breaking supply chains. Even locally, normally bustling shops and office buildings sat empty for months, devoid of both employees and customers. Even in developed countries, containment was a challenge. The United States' initial policy of strongly discouraging citizens from flying proved deadly in its leniency. However, a few countries did fare better, China in particular. The Chinese government's quick imposition and enforcement of mandatory quarantine for all citizens, as well as its instant and near hermetic sealing off of all borders, saved millions of lives, stopping the spread of the virus far earlier than in other countries. China's government was not the only one that took extreme measures during the pandemic. National leaders around the world flexed their authority and imposed airtight rules and restrictions. From the mandatory wearing of face masks to body temperature checks at the entries to communal spaces like train stations and supermarkets. Even after the pandemic faded, this more authoritarian control and oversight of citizens and their activities stuck and even intensified. Leaders around the world took a firmer grip on power. At first, the notion of a more controlled world gained wide acceptance and approval. Citizens willingly gave up some of their sovereignty and their privacy, even eager for top-down direction and oversight. And national leaders had more latitude to impose order in the ways they saw fit. In developed countries, this heightened oversight took many forms. Biometric IDs for all citizens and tighter regulations of key industries. Keep your eyes on the food. That is the one thing they want to control most. In the developed world, the presence of so many top-down rules and norms greatly inhibited entrepreneurial activity. Scientists and innovators were often told by governments what research lines to pursue. By 2025, people seem to be growing weary of so much top-down control and letting leaders and authorities make choices for them. Wherever national interests clashed with individual interests, there was conflict. Sporadic pushback became increasingly organized and coordinated, as this affected youth and people who had seen their status and opportunities slip away, largely in developing countries, incited civil unrest. Even those who liked the greater stability and predictability of this world began to grow uncomfortable and constrained by so many tight rules and by the strictness of national boundaries. The feeling lingered that sooner or later something would inevitably upset the neat order that the world's governments had worked so hard to establish. Technology in lockstep. 
technology in lockstep is largely driven by government issues of national security and health and safety, shaped by government's dual desire to control and to monitor their citizens. Vaccines with RFID chips in them. We might see scanners using advanced functional magnetic resonance imaging, MRI technology become the norm at airports and other public areas to detect abnormal behavior that may indicate antisocial intent. Isn't it interesting to see that tidal wave in the middle of the world map of all zeros and ones representing technology? The gift in this grand bold move at the hands of the elite is that many more will begin to comprehend the depth of this evil, as well as the fact that a new world order, one world government is their ultimate goal. Please go into action now and make the choice between listening to your ego mind and the external authorities or listening to your soul, the internal authority. The coronavirus pandemic is a psychological force that is being used to enslave humanity completely at every possible level through technocracy. Will you choose not to participate or simply acquiesce to total slavery? There is no government solution. The journey for every individual is unique. The internal preparation is the key. We must first remember who we are and then understand what we're doing here on Earth, specifically right now. Please hit the like button, share this information, and join us in this adventure. I wish to be part of creating self-sustainable small communities. I was blessed with time and created this new life. Outside of the totalitarian control system, I do not have answers for what you need to do, but I wish to share in whatever way I can. If you have any suggestions, please contact me. The contact is below. Assistance with farmland purchases in Colombia and Ecuador. Agricultural land is a wise investment and still very economical in these countries. Long-term stay at Colombian farm, 120 USD per week, 420 USD per month. Spanish lessons through truth Consciousness Workshop at Cascada Café de Tiro in English, Spanish, and French. Dental treatment of high quality and up to 75% savings in Colombia. Infinite love.